Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. What I was going to show today was actually how to uh, make images smaller on the web, um, optimizing them for faster download and stuff. Uh, and I happened upon a website, and uh, what I found really blew my mind, so try to stick with me here. Uh, what I did was I thought about what websites have loads of images and e-commerce websites, of course, and I happened to just stumble upon Mio, which is a Swedish furniture website. And uh, this is one of the product pages uh, showing a uh, bed, queen size. And uh, what I want to do is just see what size are the images and how small can we make them. As you can see on this site, uh, there are three product images that are actually being shown in this slider. I can click on them to show them. Uh, let's take uh, let's take this image right here. I'll click on it, which brings up uh, a big version of the image. The, this version actually loads on the first load load of the page as well. So what I did was I wanted to check uh, if I can see if I can uh, copy the image location. And what I was going to do originally was just show off this cool tool from uh, Yahoo called Smoosh It, which basically means that you can upload your current images or you can just provide a URL to an image and enter the URL. And I've actually, you can enter several URLs here. So what I've done is actually I've prepared a text file here with the URLs, the addresses to locations of those three images uh, showing the, the different versions or the different views of that bed on that product page. So I'm going to enter them into Smoosh It and click on the Smoosh button and see how small we can make them. And this is when I realized, looking at the file names, that Mio is actually using ping images for these photographs. And that is a big, big no-no. And um, it just goes to show uh, you need a supplier who knows what they're doing. You need a, somebody who is actually ordering the stuff who knows what they're doing. because. I did not think that a serious supplier of web services would do this today. So they're actually providing images of the products in PNG format, ping format, which is actually a format that is used for illustrations and clip art and stuff like that uh, with fewer colors. So as you can see right here is that just by reducing the file size of the ping, of the ping image as shown here, uh, the Yahoo tool Smoosh It has reduced uh, all of them by between 21 and 26 percent uh, from a file size of 241k, which is really huge, to a file size of 90k. The big image on here, though, is 552k. That's one image on with 552k. Smoosh It reduced it to 151k. It's a good reduction. It's 20 percent. But realizing that these are ping images, what I did was I brought it into Fireworks, brought one of the images into Fireworks, uh, which is an image editing program of sorts. Uh, and I used that to actually convert the ping image into a JPEG. JPEG is what you should use for photos all the time, no exceptions. And if you work with web and are a serious supplier and a professional, you would know that, uh, which I will <laughs> shortly show why. Uh, okay, so uh, basically when you're working with JPEG images on the web, you can often reduce the quality to uh, or produce a quality of 80%. Uh, the reason for that is just the naked eye can't really see the difference between 100% and 80% JPEG images on the web. And I will be posting images, uh, all the images on my in my blog post that will be accompanying this video, of course. So uh, exporting a JPEG at 80% format. OK, so let's go into Finder uh, or the Explorer if you're a Windows person. And I'll show you uh, the results. So these are the original images. As you can see, there are 721K, 550K, 339K. When I optimize them with the Smoosh It tool, as you can see, they were a bit smaller. 566, 429, 248. I'll close that for you. Now, when I optimize them with fireworks and turn them into JPEGs, these are the same images. 
They're now down to 63K, 55K, 29K, and you cannot see a difference between these images. It's the same image. It's 90% less in size, optimized by 90%. So let's just see what that means. I'll bring up a graph I did. So the red bars show the original sizes of the images, or what they currently are on the website. And this is just one product page with three images. Uh, so the images are a bit different, but each of them optimized with ping. Yeah, you can reduce them to, with 20%. Optimized into JPEG images, you can reduce the file size by 90%. Okay, that, that means a lot for page loading time. That means a lot for the user experience. Uh, so let's just check that page we were looking at, product page. Uh, the total size of that, including the images and the scripts and the style sheets and all the objects, is actually 1,909K. And let's assume that some of those are, let's assume that nothing is cached actually, but usually the style sheets and the scripts are cached, but let's assume nothing is cached and uh, being nice in, that, in, in this scenario because after my JPEG optimization, we reduced the total size of that page by 1,463K, which means that the potential for optimization of all product pages on the site, which are a lot for Mio, is 76%. And that's only talking about images, and that's all I've looked at. And given how poorly done this has done, been done with images, I'm assuming there's so much room for potential improvements in this website. But just a big eye opener, go, go to your own website, check out how, how have you optimized the images, what, what's that doing to your page load times, um, what's that doing to the user experience, what's that doing to your servers when everybody's going in downloading all these huge images uh, for absolutely no, no reason at all, except that somebody apparently does not know what they're doing and they're building websites for big companies. Uh, so that was my finding for today. Uh, I'll keep sharing what I find on the net and um, stay posted. Thanks for listening. Bye.